game two of this first round series in the Western Conference. We dominated game one. Can the Timberwolves answer back? Can D'Lo actually have a good game? Dylan Windler is out of the rotation. We do start Josh Christopher for this game as Eric Gordon is going to miss his second game of this series. And I'm starting off leaving D'Lo open. And he's already starting off better than the last game with a three made. We did answer back. We lead 1-0 in this series. Jabari Smith just had a career game with 36 points. Can it continue? Maybe. As I get the pump fake right to the rack. And Gobert contests that shot. And Anthony Edwards from downtown looking to start it off with 6-0. And they do not get it. Carly Towns with the offensive board. D'Lo, I cannot allow you to go off this game. What a steal because Cat was about to hit that three. Josh Christopher right into the paint. No foul, but I get through, make it through the contact. And we got the first points on the board. I got Gobert on me. So that means Sangoon. I shouldn't really trust... You know, the A. Oh, I'm supposed to give it to Green. I was supposed to give it to Green. Whatever. I'm coming right to the paint. That's easy. I was going to say, Gobert can't keep up with me. But my goal, at least for this um, series, we'll, we'll see how it goes with the playoff run. I want Jabari Smith Jr. to have a Tyler Hero esque playoff run. Just like in that bubble. Rookie player. Just playing out of his mind, leading. Well, not really leading, but helping lead his team to the playoffs as the second best, third best player as. D Lowe's already starting off way better than last game. Yeah, that that's my goal. If I can, Jabari Smith Jr. has to average twenty plus points this game um this playoff run. As he gets swatted there. And they're gonna leave Ant wide open. Yep, I saw that coming. I'm there to help on defense. Don't worry, team. I'll do everything for you guys. Jalen Green cut right to the paint. And he gets blocked. Oh, they they got no one in the paint. Never mind, Anthony Edwards showed up last second. I couldn't even tell he was there. That's awesome. Now he's going to go straight to the basket, kick it out to Gobert on the perimeter. They're going to reset here. Noel with the ball in the corner. They do start him again at the shooting guard position. D'Lo, with time, he misses as I closed out just close enough. And I'm going right to the paint. I'm going right to the paint. Please foul. And I do. I got to get these big men in foul trouble. All right, it's been a pretty uneventful first quarter so far. Four-point lead, though, as I'm going to go straight to the paint. Jabari Smith, bro, you got to knock this down, please. Man, why can't my teammate just hit open threes? Like, what's stopping them? How did I not get that steal also? What's stopping that? And I swear to you, I hit that button as he passed it, and it was so delayed as I grabbed that board. But, man, I just want my teammates to hit open shots. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask for, 2K? Is it? I don't think it is. I just want to hit that three, and I do. One for two from downtown in this game, and they need a timeout. I think I've got my groove back from three. I'm getting subbed out here up by seven. Bench, do your thing, and you did. Nine-point lead back in the game. You're loving to see it. You know, when I was going into that game one, I was thinking this could be a struggle of a series. But now, I'm thinking sweep. I'm thinking bring the brooms out, especially if they're going to be taking shots like that. Bring the brooms out, bro. This is going to be easy work. I thought that double big man lineup was going to be... It still is scary. As I'm going to... No, that's a miss fade away. That doesn't count as a three, right? Okay. I care so much about my three-point percentage right now. But I was thinking, man, that double big man lineup is going to murder us. And it hasn't so far. Sure, last game they got a bunch of second chance points and a bunch of rebounds. But other than that, we just straight clamped them. They got clamped to hell as Anthony Edward just murdered KPJ. Give me that. That is what I call cookies. And that is what I call passing to the wrong player. But we're still not getting points off of that. Why did I hit triangles? <laughs> it was Kevin Porter Jr., bro. It's just a habit of passing to Jabari Smith Jr., I didn't even think. That should have been points right there and an assist for me. As I only got one in this game. And now we got KPJ on Cat. Can I bait him into passing? Nope. I could not bait him into passing to D'Lo. That was not happening anytime soon. Alright. Still a nine point game though. I will still take it. We're kind of killing them on the defensive end. And yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen, bro. I had a feeling. D'Lo, I am not letting you go anywhere. I am... Bro, can we get a big man on cat? What are these switches? Great defense, Sangoon. Amazing defense. 
Now we're on the fast break once again. I gotta go bear trail with me. That was not the shot I wanted. I I hit double square to spin. And well, I hit square once, and it's a transition take foul. Isn't that great? But bro, I literally hit double square to spin on him, and it forced me to throw up a floater, which you can't even do by hitting square. So that makes no sense. Oh, go bear, take that shot. I. Wow, he made it. He actually made that. Okay. All right, that's what you want to play? That's the game you want to play? That's the game you want to play, Go Bear? All right. We'll go blow for blow. Even though you can't keep up with me. We'll go blow for blow. We have a 10-point lead now. Six minutes left in the second. Not as high scoring as game one. Man, Gerald, you got to jump, bro. That was fantastic defense by Jabari Smith. Even better. And it wasn't really defense. Actually, no. I think it was KPJ contested that. While I was trying to close out, so I mean that's that's the way we're gonna win this series is if we can test them. We play better offense and we need a lockdown defense because they're just gonna kill us on the boards. This is an easy That should be a flagrant. I won't lie though, I'll give props to 2K. It seems like they actually have made defensive adjust adjustments when it comes to Jabari Smith Jr. in the pick and roll, as I'ma knock down another three. From downtown, I have a different release on. I'm pretty sure I put Kyrie Irving's release on, and that's just a lot better for me. But yeah, they have actually. Wow, Delo's gonna pull that, and he's gonna make it. I'm just really trying to bait him into that steal, uh, because they just keep giving it to uh, what's his name, Cat in the post. So I mean, if they're gonna keep doing that, as I'm gonna get an and one, Gobert gra um, draws his second foul. But yeah, like the pick and roll, Jabari um, Smith. Has not been working. They have that on lockdown. So I'm going to have to look for other players with the pick and roll. Or other ways to get assists. Because Cat is not letting that happen no more. Yeah, we're completely taking over the second quarter now. Up by 17. This series is looking like a wash. Maybe you only get... Alexa, I wasn't talking to you. <clears throat> I said nothing that sounded anywhere close to your name. Alright? So, why are, you, why are you listening? I'm about to mute you. Yeah, it's looking like a wash, man. If we dominate in this game also, I might have... <clears throat> excuse me. I might have to just... I don't think you can simulate playoff games, but I might just have to play the next two games, not record them, and move on to the second round because... Man, they're not giving us the fight I expected them to give us. Not gonna lie to you. I expect this to be a close series, and it ain't showing up to be... ain't shaping up to be a close series as Jalen Green extends the lead to 17. All right, up by 15 at halftime. I have 32.6 assists and four rebounds. Let's see what the playoff bracket's looking like. If they actually show it, hopefully. Let's see. Ernie, show it in the background, please. And the Heat go up 2-0 against the Sixers. Oh, my God, man. You love to see it. I don't care about the highlights. We're dominating them. Man just ran right out of bounds. Cavs are up 2-0. The Bulls are up 2-0. And the Miami Heat up 2-0. Everything else is tied up besides the Grizzlies Portland series. I want to know what's going on. I forgot to check the box score. I want to know what's going on there down in Philly for the Heat to be up 2 0. I love it. Start of the third quarter here. 15 point lead to start it off. We are absolutely dominating the Timberwolves. It has not been back and forth. It was back and forth for the first half of last game. But since then, it's been all Houston Rockets. I don't know how much we're outscoring them. Maybe I'll do the math. I probably won't. But it has just been dominant for the Houston Rockets. Kind of similar to real life when these two teams played. I think the Timberwolves took one game from them. And then the Rockets just basically murdered them ever since. As we get team takeover, I'm taking control of Jalen Green right away. Going straight to the paint and getting fouled. Cat has drawn his third foul. Let's see if we can foul him out of the game. Jalen Green, I don't know your release. I greened it, though. It's very, very quick. I'll tell you that much. And I'm going to green the second. 66-47. I don't see a world where the Timberwolves end up coming back. Our offense is just too damn good. And apparently our defense, too, has been really good. Sangoon, you could have easily got that steal, by the way. Our defense has been phenomenal so far. Look at that switch by um, Josh Christopher, who's been playing really well at the small forward position. He'll probably get to start next game. Uh, but yeah, our defense has been amazing. Sengun with the block. And Jabari, not Jabari, that's Jalen Green to the rack. 
Does not draw the foul, but gets the layup to go and gives us a 21-point lead. Chop this up. We're going up 2-0 against the Timberwolves. This man, Cat, keeps running out of bounds on the post. Like, that's the only play they run on offense. They immediately go to Cat in the post. He spins and goes out of bounds. That's about it. That's their entire offense, as I wanted to shoot there by hit R1 for some stupid reason. That's now my fifth turnover of the game. Very dumb one. Noel ain't knocking that down. Oh, no. KP do with the ball. You can keep it because I am beyond tired. I'm going to walk up the court. And I'm going to cut to the basket. Full speed. Baptizing cat. Bro, I didn't get a replay. The one time I want you to show a replay, 2K. You ain't going to show a replay? All right, then I see. I see how it is. What a dunk on cat. That that should be the thumbnail. But it's not going to be. I already have one. But damn, what a dunk. And I'm going back for more. And cat's going to get his fourth foul. Carl Anthony Towns picks up his fourth foul. Go Bears are on the bench with three. And these Timberwolves big men can't catch a break. Seven fouls between the two. And Cat's going to have to go to the bench. Nas Reed in the game. And we have found a way to basically absolutely neutralize this Timberwolves twin tower duo. And just dominate these first two games. As Zelo gets blocked. He, it, he just doesn't know when to stop. I'm going to stop and pop. That's off. Yeah, I knew it was. That was a bad release. All right, I'm getting benched. 44 points, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. We have a 26-point lead. 23-point lead. Yeah, this this game is more than over. Thank you. I'm looking for my 50th point here. Oh, I'm going to get it so easily. 50 points for Gerald Johnson after Jabari Smith block. And it comes off a flashy dunk. They're going to have one more possession as we drain out the clock. We're going to get a dominant game to victory. This one will be remembered. Not what anyone expected. I definitely didn't expect it. I'm sure the fake fans and the fake analysis, I'm pretty sure Top Takes Daily, did not expect the Timberwolves to get absolutely mollywopped like this. And there's a chance these are the only two games you see. I mean, if I'm playing... The next game and we're bullying them like we have been which i expect next episode will most likely be round two against either luca or Kawhi and pg and both those are going to be tough series final box score 54 points five rebounds 15 assists three steals and a block for johnson this game 21 for 29 from the field two for four from downtown 10 for 10 from the free throw line jalen green with 21 points four assists and two steals played absolutely amazing jabari smith didn't score 36. Didn't need to. He contributed everywhere else. 19 points, 13 rebounds, 6 assists, and a block. He put up a bam at a bio type stat line. Kenyon Martin, KJ Martin Jr. off the bench, 12 points, 5 rebounds. He balled out. Josh Christopher was actually really damn good as a starter. He only had 5 points, but he actually knocked down a 3 when I passed it to him. And that's enough to keep the starting spot as Eric Gordon is going to come back. But 5 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals. Absolutely great stat line, to be honest, when you have the big 3 dominating like this. Uh, five points for KPJ off the bench. Four rebounds, three assists. He has not been shooting well. Sangoon gave us three blocks. He only gave us two rebounds, though, because uh, Gobert was just completely torturing him. Uh, Cat, no help for him. Absolutely nowhere. 24 points, seven rebounds, and four assists with five blocks. Um, similar to game one, he had no help. D'Lo gave him 17, but once again, shot terrible. And five turnovers. And... Only gave him 11. He absolutely got clamped up again by a different defender this time. Jalen Noel, 9 points, 3 for 11. Torian Prince off the bench was really their second best player if you think about it. Efficiency-wise, Gobert, 6 points, 11 rebounds. 7 of those on the offensive glass. Thanks, Sengun. That's going to be it for me. GG's.